And this is my little palm. I've got this little shelf arrangement here. Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel, Shirley's Divine Styling. And I thought today I would do some styling. Um, and my idea today was to have um, a bit of fun. I thought I would do some styling, but in a different way. I thought I would think about tropical islands and uh, summertime and sea breezes, um, hence the dress. I just want to say thank you for all of you who have subscribed so far and thank you for all of you that might subscribe with this video. It's really important to me and it really helps the channel. And don't forget to like. And um, so what I've done is I've set up a little scene, something you could do in your own home for a bit of fun. It is summer after all. Why do we have to just put our plants on the shelves and just forget about them and water them once a week and all that? Why not do something with them and make nice things? So here we are. And this is what I have. My room. Welcome to my tropical scene. And um, here I've got some. And a little turtle. Isn't he gorgeous? I just had to bring him over there. Anyway, so what I've done is I've thought about palms and sea breezes and here I thought maybe on either side of a nice seating area in your room you could set up some palms or something like that and have that lovely experience and that lovely feeling. So I've put here a beautiful palm that I bought recently isn't he or she absolutely beautiful i had a palm but it was many many years ago and um you know i thought well why not why not why not buy another beautiful palm as i'm enjoying buying plants these days and this is it isn't she lovely <laughs> so i've put her here this plant, she comes from Madagascar, and uh, I mean there the air must be very hot in the summertime, and it survives. And of course with the breezes, and this sort of thing, you can just imagine it moving in the wind, how lovely, how absolutely lovely. You don't uh, talk about care, you don't water them too much, you don't let them get soggy. The idea is to let them dry well and then water them. Fertiliser once a month uh, to keep this lovely green look. Uh, obviously if you don't water them, if you, if you don't feed them, I mean, you know, they're, they're just going to go anemic, aren't they, like most plants do. So yes, that would be important. And as for repotting, um, you don't repot them very often and you have to wait until they're quite pot bound before you repot them. So, uh, just a little bit of information there for you, but aren't they lovely? Absolutely lovely. And there are different types of palms, apparently. And this one can grow to eight feet tall, so I'm not sure where or what I'm going to do if he ever gets that big. But um, they can grow quite big and they can grow quite wide. They're just wonderful. Just look at that lovely leaf, isn't it just wonderful? And it shimmers and shines. And apparently, so long as the air isn't too dry, because if the air in your room gets dry, such as um, I think more the winter time when we have our radiators on, uh, the tips can get brown, and then you have to, you know, cut them off. It's a bit of a shame to have to do it, but um, so the idea is that you mist them, and uh, misting really does them some good, um, and you also keep them out of direct light but they do need the light. So here in this corner, I'm quite good because I have a door that has a, a big window in it and uh, that's a lot of light. And I also have a lot of light from my windows over there. So I think she'll be fine here for a while anyway, especially while I'm enjoying my tropical island theme at the moment. Uh, yeah, people in the Victorian times used to love these palms. So they used to have them in their room. So if they can have them, I think we can have them. Next to my areca palm, which I think looks quite nice on the table, is a little painting of mine that I did myself over the wave. 
So I've had that in my lounge for some time now. Sunshine, the sand, the beautiful waves, the sea air, all those lovely things we love when we go on holiday. And that's part of our theme today. So um, apart from that, I've also brought over a beautiful orchid. Phalaenopsis, as I said. So she's very hardy. The Phalaenopsis uh, orchids are. They're very easy to grow. They're very um, good in our temperatures, in our rooms. Uh, we don't have to miss them. We don't have to worry about anything like that. Just water them once a week. Um, don't keep them in soil. I don't believe in soil for orchids. I think it's too wet. Um, a little spangler moss and some of the special orchid mix that is quite airy uh, and dry is the best thing for them. But just look at those colours. Isn't she beautiful? Lovely, big, beautiful flower heads. Absolutely lovely. She's got like a yellow and a red deep in the centre of that lovely lilac flower. So I thought, well, you know, we're talking about the tropics and the summer and everything, so I'm going to pop her in between the chairs just to give a nice bit of colour between the seats. And so now I'm going to take you to the other side of the room where I've put some other plants. So now we're on my other side of the room and here is my beautiful, beautiful dressing. And, I mean, she could be 15 years old, um, she could be older. I've had her for some time. I have mentioned her before in other videos, if you've um, seen any of my other videos. Um, she is very adapt to our temperatures. They are marvellous plants to have. They are one of the best selling plants there is. Um, in the past, they used to be called a false palm. Um, because they're not actually related to, you know, the other palm that I showed you just now. Um, and they come from um, Madagascar. So they're used to really hot conditions. And yet, even though they're in hot conditions, they obviously have a good humidity because in our uh, rooms, just like the, the other palms that I've been talking about, they can get brown tips on the edge if the air is quite dry, which you know is our radiators, fires and all that sort of thing. So you have to be careful when you place them um, that time of the year. But um, I mean, he's so good. I've had him in so many different places um, and he's been fine. I never put him in absolute direct sun, but I do have him by the windows as a rule. At this time of the year, we've got loads of light coming into the house here. So I think he'll be fine here for a little while. Um, and as this theme is the tropical islands, um, you know, he's from Madagascar for goodness sake, so how wonderful is that? Um, so that is my Dracaena. I thought that if we were going to, or if you were going to, attempt to do something like this yourself, you just stay within the theme. Um, you know, we're thinking about the sea and we're thinking about shells, um, uh, driftwood, maybe carved into something. I mean, this is a dolphin. Um, I just bought it from the Safari Park in um, Birmingham, in England, and isn't he just lovely? It's just lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And so, you know, I didn't want to have too much in the way of ornaments um, because I do like the clean lines. I, I like, um, you know, no, nothing to be really that cluttered. But because I've got this little shelf arrangement here, I thought I'd put a few my dolphin lights in a minute. I'm going to turn the lights down, you might be able to see them a bit better. My parrots, my beautiful parrots, which is so lovely. It's a birthday present, no, no Christmas present from my son. I like to do that. Um, some shells, um, you know, various things. And this is my beautiful Waswesii. She is actually a Calthea and she's known as Jungle Velvet. And she's just beautiful, and I feature her in my other plant styling video. This is the string of pearls, known also as string of uh, beads. A 
apparently they can grow very long and very thick and in the wild they grow across rocks uh, almost like a carpet going across rocks you wouldn't think that you think they'd come from trees or something but this seems to grow along the ground and they are absolutely beautiful I, I do love having them now that I've had them um, they only need watering once a fortnight or, or a bit less uh, because they're a type of succulent so they hold and retain a lot of uh, liquid within these beautiful little beads and they come from the Cape uh, of Africa it's lovely, beautiful, absolutely beautiful so I thought I'd put that one there and just let her fall and cascade down I have this lovely, lovely little succulent. It's sort of like, it is not a cactus, but he's got a cactus-like look about him. And he, you know, it's as if he's got little fingers for leaves. And I've got some um, little um, bits of uh, crystal to go along with the theme. Lovely big crystal down there on my table, little shell, little crystal. Uh, I have another little dracaena here. This is a, called a corn dracaena, still from Madagascar as far as I know, quite beautiful, lovely, apparently my Madagascar can, uh, my Madagascar, my dracaena can grow to 10 feet or more um, and she has, she can produce um, in the wild orange berries and little white flowers, but they don't expect them to produce this indoors. So it must be the conditions, mustn't it? And then, of course, um, <laughs> I put her here. She's <laughs> she's really from a, you know for for the garden, but I mean she's just a mermaid, and I just she's so and in this theme that we're talking right now, which she look really nice. And then here is my purpose. And um, they grow very, very big. I have shown her before, her marble queen. She's got the most lovely marble leaves. And she needs some sunlight for that, so I probably won't leave her on the shelf too long. I had her by the fireplace the other day in another video. Um, which was perfect for her really because she got the light from all three windows but they grow up and the leaves get very very big and they grow up trees um, and apparently if you stake them and grow them up instead of vining down uh, it helps them grow bigger um, and grow bigger leaves so um, that's quite a an exciting thought. I thought I might do that in a little while, repot her on and put a stake in and try and grow her up. Um, and this is my little palm, who's so diddy at the moment. Um, now I'm going to try and say the name. Chamedoria <laughs> elegans. <laughs> um, really difficult to say that, pronounce that. But um, it's such a lovely little thing. I'm so happy I've got it. It's going to grow about two or three feet. Um, and uh, it's going to get very bushy and um, apparently it's quite easy to keep uh, you don't have to worry about it too much um, it's not too bothered about having lots of light uh, in fact it's not a good thing so as so long as it's in a sort of semi shady but still brightish <laughs> place <laughs> if you can find that kind of place uh, in your home these are really nice little palms to have and of course the moment you look at them all you think about is the Victorians and the, the sunshine and this sort of thing so the Victorians had these palms um, all the time. Anyway, so that's my little palm. So beautiful. So uh, it's uh, shanty town sort of thing. Um, so I thought I'd just do this for you today, just to show you that you can use um, some ideas with your plants. You can, instead of mixing them all up um, in different um, sort of arrangements, you can put them together in groups and um, emphasize something around them to emphasize where they've come from. I just think it's so lovely, you know. 
Um, I mean, Madagascar, the sea, the rocks, the crystals, all of that sort of thing. Isn't that lovely? So that's what I thought I'd do. So with that then, I'll um, be saying goodbye. I hope that you've enjoyed my video. I hope you've enjoyed the um, just being carried away there into the beautiful um, holiday places, the tropics, whatever, these lovely places of the world. Um, and um, with that, I'll say bye and uh, cheers to you too. Um, I just want you to know that this is not what you think um but anyway cheers anyway and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed